Fabric Mining and Rock Solutions in Southern Africa is currently enjoying a very successful year with record revenues and an effective transition of operations to a new high-tech head office facility in Kempton Park. Could you tell us a bit about this new facility, such as what the rationale was behind this move and what exactly it will help Sandvik in achieving? Thank you. First of all, the name Komanani is based on employees who have been participating to mention this name Komanani. In Tonga, it means coming together. The rationale behind this is to move all of our 500 employees from three or five of our facilities into one. And also, this is in line with our digital transformation to ensure we are in a high-tech, uh, best of facilities globally. Great, thank you. With regard to the facility, it represents a 380 million rand investment. What will this new facility enable Sandvik to do or achieve? And um, okay, we, we actually spoke about the rationale already, but yeah, if you could just talk to me about what it will help Sandvik achieve. Okay. First of all, as well, it's about culture, getting all the employees into one culture and one Sandvik culture. Secondly, we have a huge facility with three workshops. We've got the workshop, which is about local manufacturing, local content, and also making sure that all of our soft rock, hard rock, and surface equipment are in one facility. Great. The site, um, which is 62,000 square meters, is one of Sandvik's most advanced facilities globally and has the ability to produce underground loaders with over 60% local content, um, allowing them to be designated as proudly South African. Could you tell us a bit more about the office buildings and workshops and maybe what machines will be or are being assembled at the site? Thank you. So we have a 115, which is a 5 ton LHD workshop, which is going to be manufactured in the local manufacturing assembly. We've got 8 ton and we've got a 12 ton soft rock machines. These machines are not only for South African market, are also for export. At the same time, we've got machines that we import from our global facilities where we add local content for various customers. So as such, all the employees, all the facilities, all the technology, we can be able to foresee and see at one uh, space. Yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned that some of them are being exported. Um, to what regions are they being exported? Thank you. Majority of the equipment obviously are exported within the South Southern African uh, development communities. Majority into Zimbabwe, Botswana, so far. But as the workshop facilities grow, we are able to export into other uh, African markets. But current focus is only within our close regions. Great. Uh, Sandvik will be showcasing the digital driller at this year's mining in Darba, which allows operators to be trained and learn the rig's control system in a realistic environment identical to the real rig. So I was wondering, when was it launched and could you maybe talk, um, talk us through some of the benefits of using the digital driller? Thank you. So the COVID-19 uh, has accelerated digital transformation. So during the COVID period, we foresee that we need to come up with an uh, intelligent a drilling simulation for underground hard rock. That's why the digital driller for underground hard rock was experienced within the 2020. It obviously helps the operators to be trained and facilitate way before the machine can come. It's based on the control system, same with the machine. We can have training before the machine arrives. In that way, making sure that we have a smooth transition from operating them, from delivering the machine and operating the machines. Are you able to comment on what the uptake has been like thus far? With a digital driller? Yes. So during the COVID-19, we have seen that there was a big uptake on intelligent machines. So far, we have seen up to five digital drillers in the country, and this has been for our high-profile equipment. And that has actually helped our customers beyond South African borders and within South African borders. You can be uh, digitally being trained by somebody outside South Africa as well. Great. And then lastly, Sandvik is also introducing battery electric vehicles for underground mining, which as we know is a major step forward considering that this is a development of the 18 ton capacity um, LH518B, which was unveiled last year at the Mine Expo International in Las Vegas. Could you tell us a bit more about this machine and whether or not any local African projects are using it at the moment? Thank you. So the LH518B is a BEV machine it's 18 ton that can fit in a 14 ton envelope. It's one of our greatest machines. In actual fact, what we have realized that with a, a BEV, it's actually been designed with a Sandvik Artisan battery systems. From that on, it's a generation three, and it's been designed around the battery. The machine is capable of loading 18 ton, uh, tons, 
is going to be operating later this year uh, in a gold mine in South Africa. And after that, we'll be rolling out these 18-ton LHGs across some of the operations that are interested in BEV.